Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then welcome. If you're coming from part one, hello. <laughs> And if you're not, go check out part one because I did a part one of my Shein haul and this is part two. So part one was dresses and clothing and part two is going to be bikinis and bikini covers. So let's get into that. I think I want to start out with this bright pink because that's my favorite color. Um, just a classic triangle. Oh my god, that is so bright. Just a classic triangle bikini in this beautiful highlighter pink. Love it. Um, it also has these little details, just like the little metal loops. But let's go put this on. The cup size, cups are looking a little small, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, all right. All right. Cup size, not accurate on the website because this is tiny. Um, one thing about Shein is sizing is definitely hit or miss. They do their best on trying to like recommend a size or like if you click on extra small small it gives you the measurements of that piece which is what I go off of because that's what you should be able to go off of um, but sometimes for tops it says like a 32 to a 38 like it's just like a huge range um, and so cup size wise this is quite small I don't personally mind um, especially for like vacations and tanning and all that but if you do just know size up or skip this one but yeah we definitely got a lot of boobage happening um, and then bottoms just a classic <laughs> it's supposed to be cheeky but cheeky for me just turns into a thong so that's what's going on in the back also, I wish that bathing suits would just make the inside the exact same color as the outside because like the inside lining of this is white and so like if this rolls, like see it's rolling a little bit right here, that rolls down at all, then you're just seeing the white when they could have just made it the exact same color. But anyways, this one is super cute. I love the color. Definitely, definitely a little small. Um, but let's put this little bathing suit cover which I actually tried on in part one but I do want to put it on with a bathing suit just because that's what it's meant to cover and I just put it on over a dress just a little tie up but it's super cute because you just see like your little bathing suit underneath have some shorts on and you can go from the beach to the stores just like that um all right okay next one we're going for where is the top? I always got this cute white bathing suit. We got the ribbed material details. I really like the details on this one. It just has this little clear ring, but it's almost like the tortoise shell ring and then tanned straps. Again, I feel like this is going to be the same sitch with the pink top for boob coverage. Um, and then obviously the bottoms match just with the little ring and the tan strings. This one's really nice though, the material is very thick and so since it's white, I feel like you're not gonna have to worry about it being see-through because double lined, this one is double lined as well, um, but with white getting wet, obviously we know what happens there, but this one is really thick so I think it will be all good if it gets wet, which you would think that that's a thing because bathing suits are meant to get wet, but a lot of white bathing suits are completely see-through, so let's go test it out. All right, this one actually is a little bit better than the last one, but still not as much coverage as one may want. I do like these little details. Also, bottoms are fully adjustable on the side, so that makes sizing really easy. Top, super adjustable. Um, it's just the cup sizes you need to be worried about, but I do really like this one. It's very... It's beachy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I really like this one. I like the white. I don't have a lot of white bathing suits, but I feel like it gives me like luxurious beachy. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Oh shit, my camera's gonna die. All right, let's get moving. Next, another interesting material. I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost like, yeah, it's like this bumpy material. This really pretty green. It's like an olive green, I would say. Top. 
is I think the only one with underwire, but it's like a very formed bikini top. Can be strapless as well. Um, I'm a little bit worried for this one just because it does have the uh, underwire, so not much room for moving things around. Like this one, I can like kind of move around, get it to fit. This one, it's kind of staying where it's placed, so we'll see how that goes, but let's put this one on. Okay, surprisingly enough, this one actually covers my boobs, and I really like it. I love this color. They made the bottoms adjustable, but without the tie-up, so it's like a bra strap adjuster, which I love. The first time I had a bathing suit that did that was Kylie Swim, and I thought it was the best idea ever, so more companies should start doing that. The back on this one, same deal. My butt eats up everything. Um, but the top I do really like, and it does have coverage. I don't have under boob. This is a push-up, so they are pushed up a little bit. Um, but everything's covered, which is what I was worried about. Again, this is what I'm talking about with the lining. Make it the same color as the outside. It doesn't have to be the same material, but make it the same color at least. This one can be strapless. I would not be able to do this one strapless. It just would not stay up at all. But I do really like this color. Hmm. It's giving me plant. I'm a plant. All right, this actually might be one of my favorites so far. Let's stick with the green before my camera dies. This one was a little three set. So it's this cute army green bikini and then it comes with the little bikini cover. So I'm gonna try this one on. Um, actually, before I do that, let me just put on this cover because I do have a couple. This is just a really nice long knitted white one. Knitted, obviously open back let's just put it on right now obviously if you don't know what a bikini cover is it's just in the name covers up your bikini they're usually see-through like this one is just this cute little knitted one but it's not too see-through where you know what i mean like you still see your bikini still makes it socially acceptable this one has these little slits on the side i really like this it is very soft and it's just this nice knitted white material that kind of has a sheen to it, which I really like. Be careful with these. They catch on things so easily, like Velcro, anything like that, and they'll just pull right apart. Um, I had that happen before with one, but I really like this, and it's white, so when you're tanned, it's just gonna pop and make you more tanned. And it does have the open back, which I really like, and then it has a strap going across, so it does stay in place. This is really nice. All right, this next one is pretty similar, but a little different, but it's like this minty green, low back, just doesn't have the strap right across, but still the same knitted situation. So I'm just gonna switch. And like I said with the last one, definitely just be careful with these because they do snag quite easily. Oh, that is cute. This one is a lot higher up of slits. So it does go like, honestly, almost, it's like right under my hip bone. So a little bit more cheeky. And then the back is just completely open, a nice drop down back. But yeah, this one is really pretty. Just this nice green, green color. Excuse the fact that my shoulders crack constantly. Um, all right, now I'm gonna go to the army green, the little three-piece set. Just classic triangle bikini in, I was gonna say navy green, army green. Don't have anything this color. All these bathing suits are really nice color. Let's put this on. So this one, it's not a knitted one. This is more like a mesh one, so definitely a lot more see-through. And then the back is open and then it just has the crisscross. but it is all matchy matchy. It's like the exact same tone as the bathing suit, which is nice. But yeah, so this is the cover, back, open crisscross back, and then this one does go quite low. Um, just like sits right on top of your butts. This is super soft though. It is a lot softer than the knitted ones just because it is the mesh. 
but I do like this one. This one's more of like going to and from the pool, like to your room or something. Um, maybe not good for restaurants just because it is quite see-through. Instead of the slits on both sides, this just has the one right here on the side, which I really like. This one is also quite long, like it goes down to like mid-calf. But I do really like this one, and I like the color. I got this really nice bluey green one, which I wish I still had bright red hair because this would just look so good. And then we have a deep chocolate brown. It looks black, but it is a dark chocolate brown, which I don't. This year I got into browns. Was never really a fan of browns, um, but I really do like this. So let's go try these on. Let's do the brown first. I think this one might be one of my favorites. I just like how the bottoms fit perfectly. They're not adjustable or anything. Also, these bathing suit bottoms are thong. Like, they're not cheeky and then just thong on me like their thong, so I'm not gonna show you, but it's a full thong back here. Um, so if you don't like that, definitely not for you, but it's a tie up in the front, which I do like compared to the back. Show you the back. I just need to adjust it a little bit better. Obviously, I just put it on quick so it is a little bit high, but there is no back adjustable. It is just the tie up in the front. And this is just a nice deep chocolate brown, which is really flattering. I feel like will look really good with a tan. Yeah, I do really like this one. I like it. We got this nice, pretty blue, bluey green. What color is this even? Bluey green, I feel like an emerald blue, is that a thing? It would be like emerald green, but more blue. Does that make any sense? I don't know, but let's put it on. All right, lastly, we have this one, which not much to it, just a classic triangle. I just realized that most of these are classic triangle bikinis, but since I got my boobs done, I do like that better than strapless or like the other shapes just because it is more comfortable and if it's kind of different with sizing the safest option um bottoms again these ones are a completely adjustable tie up on the side which is actually my least favorite bathing suit bottom just because one wrong move if you don't double tie these someone could just pull them whatever um but good for sizing if you're in between sizes or not too sure what your size is going to be and then the top is just fully adjustable as well. These are cheeky bottoms that my butt is just eating. Um, but yeah, so I think that concludes part two of the Shein try on haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely check out part one if you haven't already. And please subscribe to my channel before you leave. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.